Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Christine and we are going to be utilizing some apples that our friends had given us. They gave us a big five gallon bucket and turning those apples into a fun cake. You always hear about apple pies, etc., but this one is really unique and we're gonna throw a little bit of chocolate in there too. So I just thought I'd show you how to put this cake together. So come on with. So first things first, we're going to get these apples all peeled. I know they kind of look a little funky, but don't be afraid. These are from our friend's apple tree. And I'm just going to get them skinned and cored, and we're gonna get them into uh, my mixer along with the four eggs. So I'm gonna just go off to the side here and get those all peeled up, and we'll get them into the blender. And then I grabbed another bowl because we'll mix all of our dry ingredients in a separate bowl, and then we'll combine the two together. So I'm going to get these all peeled up here. Okay, I've got the apples all done, and just my scraps, which will go into my compost, along with my egg shells and you're just putting the full egg in so the goal with the apples is to get two cups and that's kind of the quantity we're using for the little size cake pan we're using whoops four eggs hopefully not i don't think i put any shells in there um, and these are large eggs and they are just kind of right from the fridge so they don't have to be room temperature or anything so I'm gonna put that over by my compost and I'm going to get this uh, blended up in my Vitamix, um, pretty much pulverized so that it's super smooth. That's why you wanna remove the skins, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this turned around. I'm gonna get me my toaster oven on to uh, 350 and get that heating up because it goes by really fast. Like once we mix the dry ingredients, after pulverizing this, we blend the two together and we're ready to kind of stick it in uh, the toaster oven. So I'm gonna turn this around and get this pulverized. Okay, my buzzer just went off so that the toaster oven is ready. So let's do the dry ingredients right now. Right now I have one full cup of cocoa, cacao, whatever you wanna call it. I use actual like organic cacao powder. We are going to do, where is it? Uh, one teaspoon of baking powder add that in and then also the rest is kind of optional um, for dry ingredients I am gonna add just a little bit of cinnamon like a quarter like a heaping quarter teaspoon love cinnamon it's got a lot of um, health benefits and then my one little what I probably am just gonna add to this as well at the end um, is a little bit of vanilla so right now I'm just going to take my little whisk, my Danish dough whisk, which I love. It works really well to mix everything together. And then I'm going to add the wet ingredients. So after I add the wet ingredients, which it's really mushed together, like it is de definitely pulverized and liquefied, which it was the apples and the eggs. You can see the consistency of it. I am going to get my measuring cup out just to make sure that I have roughly two cups. We've got two full cups of liquid and I'm going to add that in and then we'll get this all mixed together and now I'm going to add that little bit of vanilla which is your own preference. Uh, the recipe doesn't necessarily call for it, but I have my own homemade vanilla, which I like to use. So I'm just gonna add one quick little teaspoon of that, that should do. I'm gonna use the whisk to mix it and meld it all together. While this kind of sits for a minute, I'm going to take my coconut oil over and get that melted. So let me just stir this up really well, and then you'll see what kind of consistency this has. And you won't even believe it. It's kind of like taking applesauce in general and making something, but you're just going right from the actual apples into this. Look, look how well it's stirring up already. So the eggs will help hold it together, and also the coconut oil which we will be melting and then that kind of gets 
you know, to be a little bit more firm consistency, makes it easier to um, cut, etc. So let me get this mixed up well, and then I'm gonna go get this melted. All right, here we go. So this is the melted coconut oil. Just adding that right in, quarter cup. And then actually, I'm just gonna kinda put a few dollops on the parchment paper, just to make sure that it doesn't stick. Ooh, I got a hot mess to clean up. So I've got the parchment paper just on a small pan. And let's get this mixed up, and then I'll zhuzh the sides down. So the other fun thing I did get out, I have some dark chocolate chips, which is always really fun, just to kind of throw a little handful in there. Just to, you know, it's a, it's a smaller um, cake, so you really only just need just a very small dollop. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So just like, you know, palm size, and that should kind of mix in and just make it even more chocolatier than what it is. All right, looking good. All right, let's get it in to the pan. And it has a nice smooth consistency. And once you get it in the pan, we're gonna smooth it out again. Make sure it's kind of even. And we are cooking it for quite a long time just because it is so dense. It's the 35 to 40 minutes on 350. All right, so now, see I goofed a little bit, but let's get it basically even so that it looks cake-ish. I did see somebody actually add um, like coarse sea salt to the top too. I thought that would be fun. But let's just get this thing cooked. Okay, we're gonna get this in the toaster oven. I have it at 350 for 35 minutes. And it's just on the top rack. The one big thing you need to remember when using a toaster oven and parchment paper is make sure that your parchment paper does not touch any of the elements because that can cause a fire. So right now I am gonna check it at 35 minutes. Um, with the toothpick to see if it comes out clean. And if it needs to go a little bit longer, just because it is so dense, we're gonna let it go um, for a few more minutes after that. So we'll check back in as soon as this goes off. Okay, the timer officially just went off. And with my toaster oven, I actually had on the convection part also. So let's pull it out and get this light on. Ooh. It's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna do the test. I've got a couple of toothpicks here. Not too bad. Let me just do one more in a different area. Still a little gooey maybe on the bottom. I'm just gonna do a little bit longer. It's pulled away really nicely from the sides and it's got a few little marks in it, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it for a little bit longer so then it really comes out clean. So let's say five more minutes. Okay, there we go. It's the next five minutes. Pull that out one more time. It's looking really good. And let's give it the poke again. I feel like it's coming out pretty clean. It's definitely firm on the top. So we are going to let this cool probably 15, 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we're gonna cut into it and you can see what the texture is like. It's really delicious and just the super simple ingredients. So we're gonna let this cool and we'll get the video closed up. Okay, so let's get this video closed up here with doing a test taste. It turned out beautifully. You can kind of see the cake-like and it is just apples, some eggs, some chocolate, and with throwing just that little bit of handful of chocolate chips in it, just kind of that bite has a really good chocolate chip in it. So let me just give it a try. Very thick and decadent, and the apples is what gives it its sweetness. Didn't have to add any sweetener to it at all. 
and I just had seen this recipe and yes everybody loves apple pie but I thought using some of the ingredients that I have I have quite a bit of the cacao powder and quite a bit of you saw my dark chocolate chips and just kind of to incorporate that so oh yeah that's definitely so good so let me know what you are making with your apples this year are you doing applesauce or like I said apple pie filling or apple butter so thanks for stopping by my little channel and if you like videos like this super simple recipes hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. Now I'm going to finish this before I have my dinner. Using apples and chocolate and eggs. And we're just going to put it together and we're going to come up with... <laughs> what are we going to come up with? It's going to be good. It tastes really good using apples and eggs, and we're going to be putting together. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs>